Hello and welcome to this quick video. This is a video about what you can do with Express LRS if you find that the telemetry is quite slow and sluggish. And you'll notice this, particularly if you're coming from other systems like Crossfire or FreeSky or other things where the telemetry is kind of taken care of for you and the telemetry is always running at a nice healthy speed. Now with Express LRS, we're still kind of dealing with some of the legacy stuff of it being ultimately designed for racing around beta flight quads. And that means that the telemetry by by default tends to be at quite low levels and that means that if you're flying INAV or RD Pilot or those kind of things where you are using some kind of script here on the radio things can appear incredibly sluggish and very slow when it comes to the telemetry side of things. Now the way to check if your telemetry is slow if we just go into the model menu and just zoom around to telemetry if we discovered all the new sensors, by the side of it, as you can see here, there are little flashing asterisks. That asterisk is flashing when that value is being updated. And for some of these, by default, you can see that they're not particularly quick at all. So how do you speed that up? Well, it's actually pretty easy and straightforward. What we have to do is go into system, start the Express Lua script, and then what we can do is change two settings that are fundamentally going to change both the speed of the link but also how much telemetry we get back. The first one that you're probably aware of is something called packet rate. You can change that um, all the way up to X1000 if you're going to be racing around. The way it works in Express LRS, don't forget, is that the higher the speed of Express LRS, the shorter the range. So I usually run it at about 250 or 150 because a lot of the stuff that I'm doing is with wings. The next one then is the telemetry ratio. The telemetry ratio is the number of telemetry packets versus control packets. So the something like 116 is like every 16 control packets that are sent, I'm gonna get a telemetry packet back. Obviously the faster I make the link, and again, the faster you make the link, the shorter the range, but the faster I make the link, the more frequently that's gonna happen. But I can change the ratio. So the moment it's 116, I can drop it all the way down to one to two. So that means that I'm gonna get a packet very, very often. And then I can do it so that it is every one to four, one to eight, one to 16, one to 32, one to 64, et cetera, et cetera. If you want more telemetry, then you can reduce the ratio, which will mean that you get more telemetry packets back. That will mean things get refreshed an awful lot faster. Do you remember the downside of that, of course, is that it does mean that if you're sending that much telemetry, then there potentially is a little bit more lag in the link because packets that would normally be used to send radio control information up to the model have been used to get the telemetry back. But that's how I would do it. For something like INAV, where I want a reasonable update speed, I would normally have it at 1 16th, something like that. Um, and then to be fair, I tend to also have, uh, if it's a wing, I'll go for something like 333 full. That gives me full control over all the different bits and pieces. Otherwise, I'll tend to go for 250, something like that. But that would typically be the way I'd set it up. If that wasn't quick enough, I'd go down to one to eight. It's less crucial with fixed wing, but you might find that turning up the telemetry too much does kind of introduce a little bit more lag in things like multi-rotors. So it's a bit of a trade-off. But Rick, hopefully that answers it for you. That's what you need to do. Come in here into things like the telemetry ratio and turn it up or down, depending on how you want to look at that, I would change it so that there are more telemetry packets coming back versus the radio control packet that are being sent. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.